Hello. We're going to change the colour of the links on this theme. These, these links you can see here. Um, now I've made a oh, it's, This is the lifestyle theme, and it's a studio. It's made by Studio Press. But I've tried this with loads of Studio Press themes, and they all work in a, a very, very similar way, if not all exactly the same as this. So let's get started. So I've made a little list we can go through, so we don't forget anything. So first of all, some important points to notice, right? The code we need is in the Lifestyle Themes style CSS file. So if you log on to your web space, um, you might use cPanel or an FTP program, and you'll see all these files and folders, and this is what makes WordPress work. So you need to go into Content, Themes, and we're using the Lifestyle theme, so open that and you will find this style CSS. So you want to open that with a, a text editor, not with a word processor. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, don't open it with Microsoft Word or anything like that. You want a, a plain text editor like Notepad, or if you've got a proper text editor, um, a HTML editor, anything like that, that would be great. So, we'll open it. see what we're doing right so let's go back to our list and see what to do next right we're going to edit um, th there's two nav bars if you have a look at the theme there's a nav bar here and a nav bar there and they've both got these drop down lists so uh, the, the code that we use is this there's one called nav, that, that little um, hash sign there, it, it means it's a div in style sheets. You've got divs and classes, and these are divs. So we've got a div nav and a div sub nav, and that, they're the things we're going to edit. Now links have got four states. There's the link, then there's a visited link, there's hover and active. So what what's the difference? The link as you see it now is a link. When you hover over it, it changes colour. That's hover. When you click the link, and it's got a different colour there, that's active. And you can also have um, a, we'll call a visited link. Now, some people set it so that when you've been to a web page, it, it changes colour and it stays the, the new colour, um, more or less, well, until you come back to the web page or for quite a while until you reset your um, your browser settings or whatever but that's fairly that's gone out of fashion now not many people seem to do that so back to our list see what we're doing we've got the four different states and you can style each state separately if you want to you don't have to but you can if you want to so your two nav bars can have a drop down list of links that appear when you hover over the links in the nav bars we've done that when the page loads, I'll just scroll up a bit. Here we go. When the page loads, the navigation text links you see are controlled by this code. There's nav lia and sub nav lia. When you hover your mouse over a navigation uh, list item or a link, a drop down appears, and the drop downs are controlled by this code. Now the only real difference is if you see that's nav li lia, and this one is nav just LIA so that's got an extra LI so the drop down lists have the extra list item in them right let's see where we go next oh when you look at this these colors here this blue color is set by the um, the anchor text for all links on the page you can set that separately if you want to but on this particular theme, um, the thing that's controlling this blue colour is just the, the anchor text that's it sets the, all of the link anchors or links are called anchors, and all of the um, link text on the page is set um, in one part of the style sheet. So what next? Right now, editing the code. So we've opened the style sheet file. Um, so all we need to do now is search for nav lia. So let's 
search for that in our style sheet. This is the style sheet we opened, and all we need to do is find the search box. Um, so, oh, search for that. Now, if you see this here, this nav lia, there's no colour in that one. It's not been set, the colour hasn't been set, but we'll set it just so that you can see how it works. Now, what we're going to do, you can use things called hexadecimal codes to set your colours with but depending on if you know what the codes are it's easy to find the codes but you can also use the names of colours now there's 140 colour names things like blue green red or you can use that the, the, the this here is a hexadecimal code but we're just going to use the name of the colour to make it easy so you don't get too confused so uh, we're going to have green and olive so let's go back to our style sheet and this here this nav lia so far doesn't have a color uh, declaration in it so let's add one there we go we'll save the file and let's see if it's changed so what we're using now is this sort of blue color if we refresh the page it's gone that kind of uh, green colour. So we've got two, we've got the nav and sub nav. Now we've not changed the sub nav. But what we'll do, I'll just stick to one um, one of the nav bars. The, both nav bars work in the same way. So to save time and save messing around, I'll just stick to the top nav bar. Right, so what else are we going to do? Um, oh, we'll change the hover and active as well. Hover and active are when you hover the mouse over um, something. So we'll change that to green as well. And we'll save it. And then we want to do the um, the drop down lists. Now this, that, that one was nav li. And what we're going to do now is nav li lia. And we're going to change these to olive. So we'll look for the colour. So that's the code we're using, and we're looking for the colour there, and we're going to change that to olive. Let's have a look. I think that was on our list. So if we look on here, see that we can just type that colour in. So we'll go back to our style sheet, and we'll save that. So that's only only done the link and the visited. Now we want the hover and active as well to be the same colour. We could choose different colours if we wanted to, but it just saves time. There we go, and we'll save that, and we'll go back to our page and see what happens when we hover. Now at the moment, when we hover over it, we get this sort of dark grey colour. But we change the code, we refresh the page. And now we get this olive colour. It's just that simple. So let's go back to our list and see if I've missed anything. Nope. So this is, this is how you do the code. If you want to put in hexadecimal code, uh, the, the computer code for your colour, you put that, that hash sign first. If you're just typing in a, a colour like red, green, blue, you don't need the hash sign. So when you type that into your style sheet here, um, when we typed in the colour, we didn't type the hash sign there. If it had been a hexadecimal code, we would have typed in that hash sign. Let's see if I can find one for you while we. Now, there we go. You see that one? That one's a colour with hexadecimal code and it's got the hash sign. One thing you need to be aware of is when you scroll right to the bottom of the page on this particular theme, there are about oh, six or seven different uh, colour schemes. That's lifestyle yellow lifestyle teal so if you're changing the color scheme make sure you're changing the right um, set of code up at the top of the page not right down at the bottom of the page well I think that's all I needed to tell you so I hope you found it useful and I hope you could follow along thanks for watching and bye for now